I went to go film the intro. Spilled water all over myself. My lap is soaked. Like I said, I just spilled water on myself. So uh, let's do this quick because I want to change, but I also just want to get this over with. Um, so hi, I'm Kaylee. Today I'm going to do uh, just a sketchbook paint with me. I was watching Fish and Garrett on TikTok and if you don't know who he is, he says he raw dogs the Everglades because he just walks around the Everglades looking for pythons barefoot and he just walks around barefoot with the alligators and cotton mouths and everything else. So what he does is kind of terrifying but he showed a spoon bill on one of his more recent videos and I saw the spoon bill and I was like oh my god I have to paint it and I just went to the zoo so I already have like a list of birds that I want to paint. So originally the plan was to do a bunch of different birds on one page, but then I just ended up doing like a bunch of different spoon bills because their beaks are so cool and the different angles and the color, the pink on them, oh my god. So this is just a sketchbook spread of birds. It's just me painting with gouache and so uh, yeah, let's uh, jump into it. Thank you. Hello, so here I am painting birds. I don't know why I was kind of a little bit weird recording that intro, but it's probably because I spilled water on myself. And when I'm in a mood, I am like weirdly, I don't know, just whatever that was, that's, that's, that's where I was at. So let's, you know, look at this bird. It is a spoonbill with a fish in its mouth and their colors are so crazy. So usually I like the less is more sort of painting aesthetic because one, I get lazy. Two, for birds specifically, I feel like unless you're doing like hyper realism, less definitely is more. Uh, so, because you can't draw in every feather and there's like a balance between too many and too little. And I did a chicken a while back and I just did a few and it looked really, really good. And then these, I think I just overworked a lot of these. But the spread as a whole makes me happy. So I guess I can't complain too much. I mean, I messed up on a lot of the beaks. It wasn't giving very spoon, if that makes sense. Like the shape that's actually supposed to be, it could have been more spoony. Um, and I think they're longer than I drew them out to be, but I was sketching a lot of the same bird and I was kind of just over sketching the same bird. So I wasn't being a perfectionist for once in my life. Um, yeah, so anyway, they have these creepy red orange eyes. I don't know why they're like that and I don't think they should be like that. Um, it, it weirds me out. I, I really hate their eyes. I hate any animal with uh, red eyes. They just seem possessed. But at least the beak's cool, right? You know, they have, they have, and then they have a really pretty pink color. It's almost like a bubblegum pink. And it seems unreal. Like you usually, I don't know, I feel like you don't see pink on animals very often besides like flamingos and then these. And I can't think of any other pink animals at all. So, I mean, that's cool. The eyes still freak me out. Um, but their colors are kind of like crazy. I don't know. I just feel like they're not natural and they're just kind of funky looking birds, which I really love drawing funky looking birds. So this works out. Watch how satisfying this is. Oh my gosh, the the feathers, it's so juicy and vibrant. Oh my goodness. And then I ruined this piece because I overwork it and it turns out muddy, but luckily I'm able to fix it with colored, pencil, colored pencils off camera. My word, I can't speak. Anyway, in my Himi gouache set, I have three different pinks and one is this orangey pink, one is that like darker pink up top and then the bubblegum pink at the bottom. And other than that, I don't have any other pinks. So shading was a little bit difficult because like, how am I supposed to shade pink 
I mean red, but at the same time red was almost too red. And, and then like if I put gray and black, it like muddied it up. Like look at that, ugh. This is where I mess it up. I mess it up with the gray. I'll fully admit that I just ruin it right there. I'm glad I was able to fix it, but at least the white looks so pretty going over. Look at that, it's so pretty and juicy. I love putting white gouache over like dark colors because it looks so just delicious. It looks like I could eat it, which don't eat paint, but if I was going to eat any paint, it would be that. Um, yeah, so anyway, I was getting this bird done, and at this point, I was getting very, very overwhelmed with this dang bird. So off camera, I decided I wanted to doodle because I was overwhelmed, and the doodling was, I have that song like, Can I be close to you? And I know my voice is horrible, um, so don't say anything, but that's the song that was stuck in my head. And then I just took blue and I was just scribbling all over and basically just putting color around the bird because I really just wanted to not think about what I was doing. I just wanted to place paint down and kind of just experiment with it a little bit. I mean, it's not much experimenting. It's literally just putting it on paper and adding water. But like, I mean, I don't know. You, you see what I mean? So I really like the blue. I think without the blue, the sketchbook page would look kind of bland. So I'm very glad I added it. And I really like all the little doodles. I like how the blue kind of brings it all together and it's not just like, I don't know. Yeah, I, that's it. That's all I have to say about the blue. Okay, I like the blue. And then I just, I went in and I was adding the details. I really, I think this one out of all of them is my favorite because I was getting used to the colors and yeah, here's all the finished pieces. That one's neck looks funky, but the fish idea is cool. That one's my favorite, standing on the little tree and then the close up looks kind of like a pelican and the ones flying in that one are like, yeah, could be better, could be worse. So yeah, thank you for watching, goodbye.